Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. This time out, a brand new jumbo acoustic electric guitar from Gibson. Let's get started. The guitar I'm holding is a Gibson J35 Acoustic Electric, and this is actually a reissue of a guitar that was first released by Gibson in 1935. The J35 is a hand-built guitar that comes out of Gibson's Bozeman, Montana factory. It has a solid mahogany back and sides, a solid spruce top, solid mahogany neck, rosewood fingerboard. We've got mother of pearl inlays on the neck, and we also have a banner inlay and a script logo inlay on the headstock. We've got vintage style tuners, we've got a rosewood bridge, and the electronics are a bags element system. Because this is a mahogany bodied guitar, it has a nice tight solid bottom end to it that's not real boomy, but this is still a really loud guitar, extremely resonant. Now this is a great guitar whether you're sitting at home playing, you're taking it out on stage, plugging it into a system, or you're in the recording studio. Because it has a mahogany body, it actually has a nice tight bottom end to it that records really well and sits perfectly in a mix. The J35 features round shoulders on its body so it's comfortable to hold and play. You have nice access for getting up to the higher frets without having to have a cutaway. The neck is also set up with a nice profile. It's very comfortable to have your fingers around that. It's got a little bit of a V-shape to it, but it's a nice chunky neck that you can really wrap your hand around. The J35 is an awesome guitar if you're playing flat picking styles, but it's also great if you're finger picking. And that's because it has that tight controlled bottom end from the mahogany construction. That tight bottom end on this really lets all the voices speak in a very clear, balanced fashion. If you're looking for an all solid wood hand-built Gibson guitar that comes in at a great price, the J35 is one you should be looking at. This guitar speaks very well, it's dynamic, it's responsive, sustains well, very resonant, really nice guitar. This time of year, as spring approaches, typically the humidity in the air changes, and that's when we start seeing relief problems with the necks on our guitars, and we need to make adjustments with the truss rods. Now, something I see too often is guitar players over-adjusting the truss rod on their instruments. Here's what I recommend. Take a slow and patient approach. Put the wrench on your truss rod and just turn it about an eighth of a turn. You don't need to go much beyond that for most adjustments. Let the guitar settle in for a few minutes, play it a bit, check the relief again, and if you need to, adjust a small amount more with the wrench on the truss rod, play it again, check the relief, and get it settled in that way rather than trying to make one big adjustment and over adjusting the relief. I hope you've enjoyed this installment of Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. Be sure to tune in next time. We'll have more guitars, effects, amps, and we'll be making lots of music. I'm Mitch Gallagher. <laughs>